So let me show you what happens when you mix black and white with these colors. You know, I encourage you, there's other videos out there, you know, I encourage you to go watch them and learn color theory if you're really going to get good at mixing colors. Okay, so it's called a tint if you add white to a color. So I'm going to take this green here, explain what I was saying earlier. I'm going to mix some white with it. What you get is a tint, a lighter tint of green when you add white to it. So you can see if you want this color of green, this tint, you would add white. But if you're trying to lighten up your colors, your green, and you want a lime green, you would not add the white, you would add more of the yellow to it. And that will give you more of a lime green color. If you add white, you're going to get that color of green. So, let me take the green and add a little black to it. So you can see that this is a darker shade of green. This is like, reminds me of a camo green or an OD green. If you've been in the military or just look at the color of a military vehicle. So green is already a mix of yellow and blue. And then we just did a shade of black. So you can see it's starting to get really muddled really dark not vibrant color okay so let's take your red here and add white to it and you can probably all guess what you're gonna get with that So here you have pink, which most of you should know is a mix of red and white. So pink is actually just a tint of red. Pink is just lightened up red. And if you were tattooing, you would pro probably be using this really bright china pink. Which is a tint of the red. You could also do red and white to get this color. If you just had a green and a yellow ink, you could make lime green. Uh, red, yellow, here's your orange. So, you know, purple is kind of hard to mix with these other colors. If you do, you're going to end up with a weird color. So, it's been recommended, I've read, that when you're mixing purple, just to mix it with white. If you were tattooing, say you had a dark, this is called purple rain, and you wanted to add some white to it, you'd probably end up with a color like iris mist. But how the companies make it easy for you in tattooing is that they pretty much make all the colors for you. 
So a red and a white will give you pink. So you can just get red, white, and pink. A little caution on the Bloodline White Boy ink is it has a little blue in it. If you add a little blue, your white will stand out more. So you don't really want to use this as a mixing ink because it's got a little bit of blue and tint in there. So you would want to use something else that's just white. So red and white gives you pink. You can do yellow and blue gives you green. Um, so you can see you can pretty much buy whatever colors you need already. They have a lot of them, but you know, if you're mixing color or if you are blending colors, you really need to learn how to use your color wheel. So, I've already told you, you know, your whites are the bloodline white boy is different from just plain white. So here's a, a bright white from Star Bright Colors. Now your blacks are different. So here's an intense true black, eternal triple black, and star bright turbo black. Now this is called true black, and I agree with that. It's pretty much just black. Now, eternal triple back black, you get more into like tribal, dark, really dark blacks. Um, and these start to get a little more glossy. So, I would going from this, I would say this would be more of a flat black. More of a kind of more moving towards a glossy black. And then turbo black, star bright being super glossy. So... Your whites and your blacks are different too. So just like your paint doesn't just say yellow, unless you're buying colors for like kids, you know, little easy color packs for kids to use, you'll get cadmium yellow, on this one cadmium yellow light, this one's cadmium red, this one's cobalt blue, and you have other blues, ultramarine blue. So, with your inks, you have to be careful of that. These are all reds from Starbright. You have scarlet red, light red, crimson red, and vampire red. And then, it's not red, but it's more of a pink. You have raspberry, and then you have your china pink from Bloodline, and I have to show you these two together. China pink and ass. And if you don't believe me, I know it might be a little fuzzy. Look up Bloodline. This is actually called ass. And I gotta tell you. I love ass. This color it's more of a fleshy color so I use it a lot when I am not using a bright pink I want a little more duller kind of pink that doesn't stand out as much um, I use I use ass so I love this color just because of the name you know don't get it wrong don't stay away from this color you know this is a good color so, Bloodline, I like your ass. But you can see, you know, your pinks are different also. So, if you are mixing these colors, you will not get the same effect. So, we know that we don't want to mix too many colors because your colors aren't going to be bright you're going to start getting really muddled colors. And if you're trying to do a really bright tattoo, you don't want that. So the alternative to mixing your colors is to buy 
the color you need. So if I was doing something in China pink and I wanted it to get a little darker, I would use a raspberry or an ass color. And I did that with this tattoo. The darker areas are a raspberry, the lighter areas are pink, and then I dipped in the white to make the highlights. So if you were using a red, this one's a knucklehead red, and I haven't used this color yet, but I'm guessing it would work. If you wanted to do a red that got darker, you would do a vampire red with your red, 